In this video, we're just going to look at a polynomial function and then identify some different things that are pretty common in a pre-calculus course. You should be able to look at almost any polynomial function, come up with a domain of range, find increasing, decreasing intervals, x and y intercepts, and any local maxes and mins. Okay, so we're going to start with um, the domain here. Since this is a polynomial curve and goes on forever and ever and ever in both directions to the left and right, then my domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, same thing with the range. This portion of the graph goes down forever and ever. It is smooth and continuous. And then this part of the graph goes up forever and ever and ever. So again, my range is a negative infinity to a positive infinity. All right, now for increasing, decreasing intervals, all right, we need to know where is it increasing. So I'm going to highlight here on the graph, make it a little bit more clear. All right, the graph is going up on this portion of the graph, so it's increasing. It is increasing over here on this portion of the graph. So I've got two sections there that are increasing. Now, when I do intervals, increasing intervals, I want my x values. So we need to remember that negative infinity is all the way down here, positive infinity is all the way down here. So moving from left to right along the x-axis, it is increasing from negative infinity all the way up to the x value of negative 3. So we'll use curvy brackets because it is intervals here. So negative infinity all the way up to negative 3. And then we skip over this section right here because that's not increasing. The increasing part of the function picks up here at 0 and then goes all the way to infinity. So 0 to infinity. All right, now if we take a look at the decreasing intervals, it's decreasing in this portion of the graph. So again, I want my x values. So it starts decreasing here at an x value of negative 3 all the way over to the x value of 1. We want curvy brackets again because we're looking at intervals. All right, x and y intercepts. These are ordered pairs. I know this looks like an ordered pair. Okay, but it's not. Those are intervals. When I write them here, it's going to look the same way, but they are actually the points on the graph. X-intercepts are the points at which the graph crosses the x-axis, so there are three of them. So negative 5, 0, negative 1, 0, and 2, 0. Written as ordered pairs because they are points on the graph where it crosses the x-axis. There is only one y-intercept. It crosses the y-axis in one and only one spot. So that's 0, negative 1. All right, now local max and mins. All right, local maxes would be um, taking the graph and looking at just a section or just a section here. Is there a part where it peaks? All right, right in here is a maximum. It's referred to as a local maximum because if I just look at the graph in that small section, it's the maximum in that small section. So it's referred to as a local max. So the local max is um, written, can be written as an ordered pair of negative 3, 2. All right, some textbooks will tell you that it is located at x equals negative 3. Okay, but the actual local max, when you want to list it as an ordered pair, is that point right there. Same thing for local minimums. All right, well, where are some dips, low points in the graph? Right in here is a low point. And if I just consider the small area right around that, it would be the lowest point in that small section. So a local minimum is going to occur at 0, negative 1. Okay. If you want to refer to as where it's located at, some textbooks will do located at x equals 0. All right, so definitely uh, just a quick little summary there of four uh, things that are really um, good for a pre-calc class, all right? Concepts like this, knowing this, going into a calculus class is going to help tremendously if you've got this type of background. So definitely, um, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.